Hello everybody, it's everyone's favourite feisty feline, Zephas Grace Paws here. If you're new around here, why not subscribe and ring that bell for more furry fandom related content. Also, why not join my Discord community, link in the description. Today, we're back with the best of furry reddit, this time for the month of October 2019. Fuck, my co-worker has been having a bad day and I almost patted his head and ruffled his hair. Don't become a furry, kids. Well, I like you, but I'm kind of scared of that guy. I don't even know that guy. Look at me, brother. <laughs> I know that there is quite a bit of a crossover with furries and anime fans, especially with things like Agretsuko and Beastars, so I think it's safe to say the patho-ogen is starting to spread to anime. <laughs> you ever remove just one thing from an outfit and it changes the look completely? When you're moving house and your box full of bad dragon shadows spills in front of your new neighbours. I don't really have this issue because I don't own anything from Bad Dragon, but I do have a very real worry that my new neighbours can hear me recording my furry videos. Luckily I've no idea if they can actually hear me, but fingers crossed they can't, otherwise it would be very awkward in the hallway. <laughs> actually let's go ahead and do an experiment. Neighbour, if you can hear me, tap twice on the wall. I think I'm safe. Trick or yeet? Yeet? Yeet it is! This candy bag empty. Yeet! Being a fairy online. Being a fairy IRL. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Of all the people that I know in person, I think my girlfriend is the only one who actually knows that I'm a fairy. Which actually brings me on to an anecdote of something that happened this week at work. So, one of my co workers was asking for my YouTube channel name again. It happens quite often because he's nosy or curious or something and I told him that I wasn't going to tell him and it brought on this whole lecture of like if you enjoy something you shouldn't be ashamed to tell people and like as much as I agree with that I just know how hard he judged me considering how much he hates fairies. When your custom character appears in a cutscene. Hi is this the bear meetup? Oh uh that actually refers to the gay bear subculture. Yes this is my partner. So you're both men? I'm very clearly wearing a tie. <laughs> US Navy woman dresses up as a giant husky dog in a homemade fursuit. You guys are stupid, see they're going to be looking for army guys. Now I saw this article floating around early last week and I really can't understand the angle that the newspaper are going for here. I mean it's an article from the Daily Mail which for non-Brits is the worst paper ever written. And I use the term written very loosely as most articles are just right wing word salad but I digress. I might do a furry react to this article if there's enough demand. Watch me drink this soda in 5 seconds flat. Mum joined Telegram, the fastest block in the west. It's high noon. <laughs> this is something that I don't think I'm ever going to have to worry about. My mum is pretty much technologically illiterate, so I'm, I'm kind of lucky there. Me in 2014 hating fairies. Me in 2019 being a fairy. It's very strange how the majority of fairies are people who used to hate fairies and ended up becoming one. Like myself, like when I was 13 or so, I used to hate on fairies and then less than three years later I was a full blown fairy. And yeah, kind of still am. <laughs> furry odd parents. Triangular object exists. Furries. It's a circle. And the final post here is a furry pumpkin carving. I can see they've gone for the classic OO face, the same design that I went for during my Halloween special video. Check it out now on my channel. Except those turned out a lot better than mine. Great job. So there we go, those are some of the best posts from the furry side of Reddit for October 2019. Thank you to everybody whose content was featured in this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.